In today's video, John Jones vs. Stipe Miocic betting odds released, Marab Vajvili confronts Piotr Jan in hotel lobby, Daniel Cormier explains his live reaction to Jones' win over Gan, footage of Aljamain Sterling grappling with Zion Clark, Alexa Grasso explains how she dealt with the pressure ahead of UFC 285, and Chael Sonnen claims he made $8.8 .8 million for the Anderson Silva rematch. After claiming the heavyweight title, John Jones immediately turned his attention to a future showdown with Stipe Miocic. The fighters eyed UFC 290 in July as a possible host. While both fighters have plenty of accolades on their respective resumes, Jones opened up as a sizable favor over Miocic in the first odds released for the proposed matchup. According to the sportsbook at DraftKings, Jones is more than a 3 to 1 favorite to beat Miocic in a potential fight. Here are the current odds. What do you guys think about these betting odds? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. UFC bantamweight contender Marab Vajvili ran into Piotr Jan at the Fighter Hotel ahead of their fight at Saturday's UFC Fight Night 221 event. Like, let's do it because I ask a question. After the fight, after the fight, no, fight. people fight. After the fight, people fight. Let's go. Let's people fight. Let's go. To promote, to promote fight. Promote fight, bro. No. Footage emerged of Daniel Cormier's live reaction to John Jones's win over Cyril Ghana at UFC 285. In the video, DC looked pretty shocked by the result. Speaking on the most recent episode of the DC and RC show, Cormier explained why he looked very confused and made a short breakdown of the finishing sequence. Here's the clip. You know, it was, it was, it was impressive, but it was very surprising because it didn't seem like it was all the way in. But then when they switched the angle, you could see, because we're looking through the cage, right, RC? So you have those pillars, you have the, 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 the sponsorships and everything, and Jones and them were on the opposite side of the octagon. So it looked like he was feeding him his hips to try to choke him. But when you see that, you think, oh, that's an uncomfortable position, but not a position you submit to. So when he submitted, I was just like, well, what did he tap to? But then when they switched the camera and you were able to see, Jones did have his lock under the chin. And Jones is a strong guy. So when Cyril Gon's sitting on his butt, his body's getting crunched as Jones is feeding the hips to arch his back into him to submit him, so it must have been painful. DC also said he was more surprised and disappointed with Cyril Gan, who looked intimidated by the moment. But you know what? You know what stood out to me, right? To watch Jones do something spectacular is not all that surprising. He's made a career of it. But watching Cyril Gan, listening to Cyril Gan over the course of the week, and then watching him in the fight. It almost felt like the moment was too big for him. Did you get that feel when the fight started? Like, did you get, like, when you walked away from it, did it feel like a letdown on Cyril Gan's behalf because it seemed like he was intimidated by the moment? MMA fighter Zion Clark has posted footage of him grappling with UFC bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling. Here's the video.
Last Saturday night, Alexa Grasso shocked the world and submitted Valentina Shevchenko to win the UFC flyweight title in the co-main event of UFC 285. Speaking to RJ Clifford and Dean Thomas on SiriusXM, the new UFC champ discussed how she dealt with the pressure leading up to her UFC 285 title fight. Well, imagine it was hard. I can I can't lie that it was hard. You know, when it's uh, a lot of pressure. Like you said, like everyone was expecting for me to lose. Everyone was expecting for me to get the beat of my life. You know, sometimes at the beginning of the fight camp when I was. Uh, having a lot of trouble, you know, finding the distance, finding the timing. I was like, damn, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> but, but no, but every day my coaches said like, hey, it's one more day. So I was doing that, you know, after the training, even if I had a good or bad day, no matter what, I was always in my mind, you know, looking myself like I did exactly what I did. Like I said to, to my post by interview, I don't know if I was dreaming, you know, like that told him like, hey, please punch me because this looks exactly how I dream it, how I was thinking, you know, the arena, the lights, the interview, the belt, everything was like exactly how, how I imagined. Here's a video of Grasso drilling the exact finish on Valentina Shevchenko in her locker room right before she walked out. Yes, According to Chael Sonnen himself, the bad guy made a lot of money fighting Anderson Silva. During an appearance on Andrew Schulz's Flagrant Podcast, Sonnen stated that he was paid $8.8 .8 million for his rematch with Silva. The numbers are jaw-dropping, considering the massive contrast to the reported payout of $50,000 that was reported at the time. He said, The most I ever made to fight was $8.8 .8 in one night. I made $8.8 .8 million the second time I fought Anderson. I know I just became a scumbag to the audience, but they used to post this publicly. This was in 2012, and I will tell you, those numbers are bigger than people think that they are. I've always wondered what Anderson got. He had to get more. He had to. He had to. I heard rumors that he, Silva, was 3.2 or 3.1 million, and I've tried to confirm that. But then he also told me a number that he thought we did in pay-per-views, and it wasn't the number that we did in pay-per-views. So I don't know how this whole thing sat. There was just a time that I stopped searching and talking about it. For comparison's sake, earlier this year, when now former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou was embroiled in contract negotiations, he claimed to have been offered around $8 million. UFC President Dana White said that the Predator was offered the biggest contract for a heavyweight in promotional history. What do you guys think of these numbers? Do you believe that Chael could have earned almost $9 million for a rematch with Anderson Silva? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Jake Shields. Our second place meme was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named TC Giants Fan 123. And our top pick was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Jax Rax. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.